Hi Pisces, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for tuning back in or welcome if you are new here. So today we're going to go ahead and do a short or reading for you or shorter um, for what your guides and your angels most want to tell you at this time. So whenever you find this message, whenever it finds you, hopefully there will be something in here for you. And we're just going to go with it and see what your spirit guides and angels want you to hear, Pisces. So this is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. You can also check out your Venus sign as well if you want to. And we're going to jump into it here. So Pisces, what do you need to hear? Tune me in, please, Spirit, to the energy for Pisces and what messages that they need to hear. So some of you could find right now that you're kind of on a bit of a... Um, Maybe you're kind of laying low or you're relaxing more. This could also be advice from spirit too, to make sure that you do relax, that you um, take care of yourself right now. But I also get that you're in a process of changing your routines or changing directions. Um, could be something small like changing the routine in you know whatever it is you're doing at home or changing the way that you drive to work or something like that. But I just get that you are beginning to exit out of a certain cycle that has been kind of tumultuous or kind of challenging or stuck for you and again this could be advice too if you have not done this to make sure that you're trying new things and starting to implement new routines and new situations and that's kind of where i feel you're at currently um, there's very much of a um, a lot of clearing happening for you. For some of you Pisces, your guides want to tell you that you could actually be having certain uncomfortable symptoms, maybe sp specifically around the head. This could be headaches. It could be anything around the crown chakra, the third eye chakra I'm getting here too. That is, um, for some reason, I'm hearing a consequence of past actions. So I don't know exactly what that means. Yeah, six of cups reversed. There might be something that you're currently going through, Pisces, that is a direct result of past situations in your life. Could be past life, too. Um, I'm also picking out this might be about a relationship, so you could even find that there's someone around you going through this, too. But they definitely want to confirm that this time period for you is kind of a time for you to get in touch with yourself, get in touch with your intuition um, as well. And it might feel kind of like you're in between. You're in between this world, you're in between the next world, but that's okay. That's where you're supposed to be right now. Uh, the Empress in reverse. Pisces, what else for you? Some of you here, Pisces, your guides want to tell you there's something within your love life that perhaps you feel disappointed by you feel um, you know not good about here and I feel like again the time coming up for you right now is a time for you to heal that and to release those pains within yourself you might actually find a truth out here your guides want to tell you about a situation or about a person could be that someone has been very fickle very on and off very um, maybe non-committal. There's just been this kind of back and forth dynamic with somebody and they may have not really appreciated you. And that's kind of what you're going through too. It has to do with you um, taking control of the situation and not letting it take control over you. So we have the high priestess here coming through as well. I'm hearing spirits say you will go further in the future if you listen to your intuition. So when you start to listen more deeply to that intuitive calling from within you, it'll lead you to better results because you're going to be more aware of when the certain tower moment comes in. Again, you can be aware of like, is it is you know, do you feel it coming on? Is it something that your intuition is telling you that you can't trust somebody maybe with this King of Pentacles as well? So Pisces, what else for you do your guides want to tell you right now? Again, they really want you to trust right now also in the mystery with the High Priestess. Trust in the mystery of what's happening right now for your life. Because I feel like um, there's something about you making better decisions your guides want you to know. And I think that you're already doing this or you're about to be making better decisions in your life, which will lead you towards more peace. 
And I feel like I'm also hearing too, if you've been having a hard time letting go of people, letting go of this tower, you know, letting go of a, a person, whatever it is, it could be holding you back. Your fears are holding you back. And one way to kind of deal with that, I'm hearing, is to look at the bigger picture of it. Again, the High Priestess is here to say that your intuition knows something all along. You don't have to have anything outside of you to confirm your intuition because it's already telling you something or it already has in the, in the past. So if you kind of take a step back and you look at things from a large, larger perspective, a bigger perspective, um, the way they're showing it to me is it's almost like it can start as a brush fire, but it's like a small fire. But if you don't tend to it, it gets larger and larger. So I feel like that's what led to the tower in some area of your life here. Pisces, what else for you? Do your guides and angels want you to know? Also, this could be practical advice coming through. If any of you are into maybe gardening or um, planting new seeds, we have problems to be resolved. There is going to be problems resolved here, but it could take you having to plant new seeds. Pisces, what else, please, Spirit, do their guides and angels want them to know? Is there anything else? Yeah, it's like I feel, again, there's some sort of event happening in your life that will lead to a lot of change, or maybe it's already happened. Someone here could be getting approved for a home, a new home. And also, another thing I'm hearing is that some of you may have a new situation coming into your life. It could be a new person, it could be a new, some new endeavor. They want you to have fun, find a way to have fun, and try not to let, uh, don't put the cart before the horse. Is that what it is? Yeah, don't put the cart before the horse. We have, you're protected from negative forces beyond your control, challenges to overcome. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So yeah, if the change has not already happened yet, I feel like it will be happening very soon. Um, and I feel like, again, Spirit wants you to know that problems will be resolved and you're heading, let's see, where are you going then, Pisces? What else about that? Where are they heading into? So it's also important for you to take care of yourself and not always taking care of other people. For some of you, maybe specific, you were taking care of somebody, um, or you were just maybe just emotionally nine of pentacles reverse, taking care of someone you know, maybe trying to hold together a relationship, trying to hold together your family, whatever it could be. And they want you to know that that's actually like something that you're trying to heal from now. And my throat got really scratchy here too. So there could be something in the, around the communication of the throat chakra for you too. Um, so yeah, take care of you, take care of yourself. Also, again, I feel many of you have certain new ideas that are going to start popping into your mind, um, especially in business or creative ideas, and they really want you to follow that. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself when you have these ideas, when you have these certain things you want to plan for, you want to take action towards them. Don't doubt yourself. You have outgrown the situation so you've outgrown something or someone okay and um by the way i just got this new deck this is by mystic moon the oracle of chance i absolutely love this deck so um, if you want to check it out i have all these actually listed down below so anyway yeah i feel like you've outgrown a situation here um pisces and like us in the beginning it's time for you to start to rest, to recharge, especially if you've recently come out of something because I really feel strongly like many of you are going to be putting your, putting your whole self back into something soon. I do feel like there also could be love coming in, but yeah, keep your independence intact. Unnecessary ending is at hand. So this probably has already happened for you. Like I said before, it could be someone who is lying to you, not very trustworthy. Um, 
it's all about you being independent. It's all about you staying in your own lane with the Nine of Pentacles reversed. And I get the feeling like in the next few months or so, you're going to have the opportunity to have new experiences, possibly even new love coming in. And um, if you hold your ground. Also, Pisces, I'm getting a warning here that there might be someone coming back around to towards you and they want you to hold your ground. The Hierophant, the, yes, the devil. They want you to hold your ground because this person could be, I think it's a person, could be, I don't know if it's um, romantic or a family member, could be a situation entirely, but see how the Hierophant is here? You've outgrown this. You're the Hierophant now. You're being guided by the Hierophant, not the devil. So when this comes back around, you're going to have the opportunity to put your foot down and to stand your ground because you're more guided now by, you're, you're more aware. It's like I really feel strong with the high priestess here too in the Hierophant that you're really in control of your life right now and you're very, very protected and guided. Um, but you also have to make sure that you're staying in that lane, you know, because if you kind of steer, kind of like you're driving a car and you steer in the other lane, um, this is where the tower came through. So... Just be aware of that in the next maybe few months or so. I don't know when it's going to happen, but there might be someone who returns. Um, so anything else for Pisces, Spirit? Any final messages for Pisces? So I don't, I'm just going to put this out there. I don't know why I'm hearing Gold Digger. So I don't know if that resonates with somebody. Um, take that how it's going to fit but I just heard a strong message about gold digger so maybe that's about with the hierophant here you know maybe focusing more on the lesson at hand or if you have someone around you very superficial or if you know someone who's dealing with a gold digger something I feel is not all as it seems you know so any final messages for Pisces? Any final messages for Pisces? Surrender now, and you are never alone. Yeah, I feel some of you also are grabbing something by the horns and moving forward is also what I'm hearing. Yes, reclaim your power. That seems like what this reading is about. You're grabbing it by the horns, and you're deciding that you want to move forward. You want to... Um, you know, just create a better life for yourself here in some way. And I think that's all I'm getting for you here. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. So I hope this reading could help you, Pisces. Thanks so much for tuning in. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I will talk to you next time.